jumper for McGowan. And McGowan's is up to eight. And that 16-point lead is gone for Miami. Welcome back to Pitt Beyond the Script. Uh, back with Coach Capel again. Coach, we talked about the deficit you overcame against North Carolina. Miami jumps out to a 16-0 lead, unable to overcome that deficit, although you twice cut the lead to four deep in the second half. Yeah, you know, it was disappointing that we, we – um we didn't play with the required energy and we didn't start the game. I didn't think we were ready and that's that's on me and I have to do a better job of making sure, you know, that we're ready. Um, and you saw it at the beginning of each half. Uh, they jump out to a 16 to nothing lead and we didn't share the ball early. We, we didn't scream. There was no movement and that carried over to both sides of the floor. And it did show because we were able to fight back. We tied it up at 18 in the first half, and then they went on a you know, 9-0 run, and we're up nine at halftime. And then the start of the second half, it was much of the same as the start of the game. And then we were able to find the group that fought and uh, got us back in the game and cut it to four. But we ex had to expend so much energy both halves and trying to get it back manageable that I thought towards the end we were tired. We had no timeouts, I think, from the 13, 12, the 12 or 13 minute mark of the second half for the rest of the game. And, you know, I'm proud of those guys that closed the game out for us, that played the last 14 minutes. I'm not sure we sub. And so the example there is that we need everybody and you have to show up and we have to be ready to play. And we talk about learning moments, another teaching moment, another yes, learning moment absolutely. for the kids. Meanwhile, Trey McGowan's 18 points, seven assists. And from the outside, you know, it seems like Xavier Johnson has been the guy kind of uh, through whom the offense runs and getting the assists. And Trey McGowan's back-to-back -back games, eight assists and then seven assists. Yeah, I thought he was outstanding again and, um, you know, made some, you know, Towards the end of the game, we put the ball in his hands. I thought he made some good passes, some good plays, some good reads. Uh, but we need everyone doing that. And in this game against Miami, we didn't shoot the ball as well as we did against North Carolina. Some of those same shots that we had you know, didn't go in. But I thought down the stretch, I thought at least the effort was there where we played hard, we played together. But we have to be able to do that for 40 minutes. You return home, beginning with a game on Tuesday against Louisville. You get three straight at home after a couple on the road. As, again, still a young team. Is, is there a comfort level there for getting those three in a row at home, a chance to kind of get into a bit of a routine? I hope so. <laughs> but you know, the last time we were here, we didn't play, you know, we didn't play well. And so I, I, I'd hope so. You know, the bottom line for us is just uh, I want us to perform well. I want us to perform to how I think we're capable of performing consistently. Um, and we have to understand the things that are required to do that. Um, getting rest, discipline, preparation, understanding the importance of every day, attacking every day, uh, having focus understand the adjustments that you have to make now that we're in conference and the schedule is a little bit more consistent. I'd like to finish by congratulating you on the contract extension and also knowing that, look, there's good news, good news, right? The good news is the school wants you and the other good news is that you want to be here, right? It doesn't happen unless both of those things come together. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm incredibly grateful, first of all, that Chancellor Gallagher and our athletic director, Heather Light, and the board and all the people that are involved in that process uh, wanted us initially and after a year and a half uh, wanted to extend us and believe in what we're doing. Um, and so it shows their commitment to me, to us, and to what they believe in, how we're doing this, how we're approaching this, and what we're doing. And what I would hope is that it, it shows the university, the athletic department, the city of Pittsburgh, our commitment to it, um, our commitment to being here, our desire to be here, um, how much we believe in the university, the athletic department, and the city uh, for us to want to do it. And I think when you have that, when you have both parties you know, in concert with each other, I, I think that's when you have a chance to build something and create something special. Coach, congratulations and thanks. All right, and that'll do it for this edition of Pitt Beyond the Script. Together, three, one, two, three, together.